YouTube. Thanks for joining me today. Today I just decided to do a quick look with, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, I think five products. Just, of course, as usual, me running out the house to just do a few errands. So if you'd like to see how I got this errand running look, just keep watching. So my face is already prepped and primed. I used a sheet mask and I also used my moisturizer by Cora's. It's the cherry blossom one because my skin has been feeling a little bit dry lately. And so I like to use a sheet mask when it feels dry and then combine whatever is left from the sheet mask with a moisturizer. And so as you can see today, my gray has decided to show. And I don't know why, I don't dye my hair, but I do get a relaxer and maybe that's why it's making it have like this yellow tone. But anyway, I didn't invite her. She's not on the payroll, and so I hope she knows that um, her appearance is merely voluntary. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm, going, I'm not going to put on a lot of makeup today. I'm just going to put on a little bit because, as usual, I'm just running a few errands. It's summertime, and so uh, I work in education, and so I have the time and I did a big clean out all summer long I've just been cleaning and trying to purge and make things look a bit simpler and I ended up moving my my beauty stuff out of the bathroom and into my bedroom and I think I like it better this way my bathroom now has a more cleaner and clearer look and I like that you know at first it was feeling I have a big bathroom but it was feeling cluttered because of the stuff that I had and I purged a lot of my makeup because I'm just like I said I'm just going for a simpler cleaner look that Hopefully it will just make life easier. Just have a lot of stuff unnecessarily. Just unnecessarily. I cleaned out shoes. I cleaned out my closet. I cleaned out uh, clothes that I wasn't wearing and gave them to Goodwill. And then I had seen this woman. And so I gave her some clothes too because I figured she had like a teenage daughter. And I was like, mm, she's close to my size. She could probably do it. So I gave her some stuff and I like the way that my closet looks and maybe I'll just do a, a closet tour for that. So like I said, I'm very happy with it as part of the process. Like I said, I ended up moving my makeup and beauty products for the most part out into my bedroom, which is where I'm filming at now. Cause I don't, I don't want a beauty room. For me, that's unnecessary and it's a lot of work. Cause I don't really think that I've filmed a me getting up in the morning, trying to get ready. Most of the time, you know, makeup is probably the last thing that I'm thinking about. Uh, so, so. I, me having to get up out of bed and do what I do and then go to a beauty room and then come back, it's, it's too much. I would just rather just have everything right here, get it done and move on. And so I moved everything and then I did a big purge. Hold on, I can't talk and do my eyebrows, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So like I said, I ended up going through my makeup and just kind of getting rid of things that seemed like they were duplicates, um, getting rid of a lot of things that I felt like I was just buying excess of. I mean, you know, how many backups do you really need? And things that were expired, even though there are some things that I probably still need to get rid of. But I just can't seem to part with them. Like my Milani blushes, they are old as dirt. 
but I cannot get rid of them because I just like them so much and I'm afraid that they're going to discontinue them and then I won't have them. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. And then there were some things that I just decided to condense, like all of my Juvia Place, Juvia's Place eyeshadows. And let me tell you, depotting those things, they are so delicate. Half of them broke, but I still depotted them and put them together in some, um, you know, some of those palettes. And so that made me really happy to be able to do that and clear out some of that space. And so that's pretty much what I've just been doing all summer is just condensing and bringing together. And so this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. And so my, my big desire is to go a year without purchasing any makeup. And whatever I don't use will be basically uh, given away. But I'm really hoping and wanting to use up as much stuff as possible. And then that way I can really see what I really, really like. Because money don't grow on trees, trees, at least not in my household. And it's just, it's just a smarter thing to do is to not just go overboard. You know, everything in moderation and I just... I know that I've gone, I know that I've gone overboard. And I guess I'm just on a different journey now. And I just want to have things that I enjoy and that I truly use so that I'm not just wasting things. And that's why I don't want, I don't want this to be a place where all I do is show, ooh, look at what I bought, ooh, I bought this. I mean, I'm gonna do a little bit of that, but I don't want my whole thing to be, ooh, here's the new lipstick or the new lip gloss because that's not my life. So. But, and I don't want it to be my life. So. That is my hope and that is my desire. Okay. And so I hope that I can have y'all's support in helping me stay on track and just encouraging, being encouraging. Now I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Quad Ghost. Love, love, love. Found out that they are having a new blush which, no, I want it. Ooh, if I get enough birthday money together, I will get it. But if I don't get birthday money, it's just going to have to wait. Please hold me to that. My birthday is at the end of this month. But look, look at that. I like it subtle, and it just adds just that perfect wash of color. Even, I mean... I know people say that, oh, you know, Ambient uh, Hourglass doesn't make products, a lot of products for, you know, deeper skin tones, but I just feel it, it builds, it just adds this wash that I really like. It just adds a wash. And it's beautiful. It's so skin-like. It really just looks like I have a little flush. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera. And I can build it up. And I'm an NC50. I'm an NC50. Ah, people NC45, NW. No, I'm an NC50. So. And it just, it shows. I, 
I may only have a problem with maybe one of Hourglass's blushes and it may have like a white cast. But other than that, they work for me. I really like them. You can build it. Now, I think I'm gonna use this in my everyday drawer. Now, should I do eyeshadow? Don't feel like it. I'm not gonna do it today. Well, hmm. no, no, I'm not, not gonna do it today. I'm just gonna put on some mascara because this is literally running to the post office, dropping some things off at Goodwill. So I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Essences. Mascaras are the bomb. And I know that you've heard of it because everybody talks about it. And what I like about them is first thing that I like about it is the fact that it leaves them soft when I put on the mascara they're soft I touch them they don't feel crunchy they're very soft the second thing that I like about essence mascaras is the pigment they're black makes my eyelashes a lot darker the third thing I like about them is that they really do lengthen the lashes and do what they say they're going to do. If it says it lengthens, it lengthens. If it says it uh, volumizes, it volumizes. I'm not so concerned with volume as much as I like length. And lastly, what I like about Essence is the cost. To do all of that at the cost that they are, oh my goodness, it's excellent. So I would have to say, I think that they're my number one pick. I can't go wrong with them. And then my second pick would honestly be L'Oreal Mascaras. And let's throw on the gloss. This is the Alme Goddess Gloss. I don't buy many Alme products. Shoot, I think this is my first Alme product. But anyway, uh, I was in the grocery store the other day and I was like, ooh, which I shouldn't have done, but I did it anyway. And I got it because I liked the pink and the gold that I saw in it. And so we're just going to put a little bit on. And the holographic effect I like. I think it it's a great topper. Now, let me run and go get a Q-tip so I can get this little mistake off and get that little thing off. Comb out my hair and be ready to go. And this is the finished look. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.